Developing right off the top at noon, the firefight at a Fort Lauderdale warehouse now in its fifth hour. The big blaze finally under control. Now, this fire was huge. Smoke could be seen from miles away. It also prompted a mandatory evacuation, and one firefighter had to be taken to the hospital. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live for us on the scene with the very latest. Joan? Well, Elliot, the call first came in. It was believed that a small plane had crashed into that building. The explosion was so loud and the flames so terrible, but it turned out there was no plane crash. Instead, it was an explosion from inside this building. At this hour, you can see here uh, that firefighters remain on scene, putting out hot spots. They are also trying to contain what is believed to be hazardous material from leaking out. It was a hot explosion. I just can't really uh, describe it as if somebody dropped a bomb on the building. Witnesses say they heard a loud explosion that saw smoke and flames shooting from Conceal International Incorporated, a custom manufacturer of specialty chemicals. It was just before 8 in the morning. No one was in the building that's in an industrial area between Cypress Creek and McNabb Roads, west of Powerline. And I was out the back building and I saw a fireball, probably 500 to 700 feet explode up in the air. And I assume it came out of that building. Rising smoke could be seen miles away from I-95 and east into Fort Lauderdale and Pompano Beach. Firefighters beat back the flames, attacking the fast moving fire on the ground and from the air. Flames spread to and consumed even a tractor trailer parked next to the building. I run away. I run to the other side of the building that I'm working in because the impact hit the door on my building. This man works in an adjacent business and said the intense explosion sent their workers scrambling for safety. The explosion pushed back the door. That roll up door you see there. And when I looked outside, the building was on fire. That was in within say a minute or two of that explosion. As fire spread, there were more explosions. Firefighters evacuated buildings in a three block radius and voluntarily evacuated businesses within three miles, rerouting traffic and causing early morning commuter chaos. Due to the nature of the materials that stored in that building and the adjacent building, we have declared it a hazardous material scene and we currently have our sheriff's office hazmat team and Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue's hazmat team working in the structure, just basically making sure that none of the product leaks out into the surrounding area. And there you see the view from Chopper 4 overhead. Uh, the flames so intense, it completely gutted this building. Again, firefighters remain on scene to keep working on the hot spots and also to contain any hazardous material. Thankfully, nobody was in the building, as we said, and nobody in the surrounding businesses was hurt, but firemen do say that one firefighter had to be taken to the hospital for a leg injury, but he's expected to be all right. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.